Hi, and welcome to the Rags to Richie show with myself, Terry Blackburn. Today's guest is another member of our mastermind. Great guy, all the way from South Africa, but now lives in London, called James Fox. He's invested in HMOs, rent to rent and flips in London. He's been investing around about 10 years, and he joined the mastermind in January. Um, he's had some wins already, which he's going to share, so looking forward to that. So welcome to the show, James Fox. Welcome, Terry. Thanks very much for the great introduction. No problem. Well deserved. You're a re really, really nice guy. Really recommend that you follow James, the, the listeners here on, on socials. Really, really nice guy. Always smiling, full of energy, very happy guy. So uh, that's what I like to say. So just wanted to get you on, James, really, because I know you've embraced the mastermind. You've embraced this lifestyle investor way and you've had some big wins already. So um, just maybe tell the listeners... How, how have you found the mastermind this far um, since you joined in January? I've really enjoyed the mastermind, Terry, since joining. I think you and Mark form a great combination. You bring sort of the aspects of managing a large business. I know you've managed a business with over 100 people. And you sort of bring the aspects on how to become more organized, become more productive, um, how to time block, how to manage your time and how to make the most of it either getting more deals or networking with people. And then Mark brings the aspect of, I know he's a portfolio landlord and he also used to sort of manage estate agents and lettings agents. And so he teaches those skills on how to sort of craft and create offers, how to communicate with agents. Um, and then he gives you a lot of skills in terms of how you can purchase property, whether that's with a lease options, assisted sales, title splittings, um, and all these sort of strategies that people talk about I know Mark's been doing it for years and he gives you the actual templates that you can then use and implement straight into your business. So I've really enjoyed it. Um, I found it, I've learned a lot and I've been able to implement the knowledge straight away into my business, which has been the best part of all. Great, no, no, that's great feedback. And I, I know we spoke a little bit just offline there and we're talking about a lot of other educators may give you the concept or sort of knowledge around what a buy to let is, a HMO is, a rent to rent is, a development is, but they don't teach you the implementation, do they? And that's what you kind of just mentioned there, the templates, step-by-step -step process, the scripts. I think that's what we're trying our best to to do is is give you or give people that, that extra little bit, isn't it? And I think it's what people need. I agree on that. I think... A lot of people, when I've done education before, they explain the concept of what a lease option is or what a title split is. And then you go out in the real world and you try to implement that and you don't really know what to do because they haven't given you the case studies. They haven't run through a live example with you where Mark literally explains what you need to do. So from the opening introduction to communicating with estate agents and who to speak to in the state agency to then how to communicate with them. And that could sort of be he does a lot of his sort of communication by email. So how to introduce, introduce yourself or how to communicate, what questions they will ask and sort of how to close off the deal. Once a deal is closed off with the estate agent, you then need to learn how to communicate with solicitors. And that also involves in terms of heads of terms and agreeing aspects. And it's not only your solicitor, it's the vendor solicitor. So most of my deals I did last year that did not go through, it was due to the solicitors of the seller um, and they always put up a lot of hurdles. And so Mark has got this great strategy of where you introduce both solicitors to the party. And so you have sort of far better control when getting those deals over the line and how to communicate effectively with them. Um, everything is very structured, is a blueprint. There's a template for everything. And literally you can take those templates, you can amend them slightly and you can implement them straight away. And I think that's been sort of the biggest game changer is that, it de-risks all the deals. You know what you're doing. You're knowing what to get, you're going to get yourself into. And you can get those deals from where you maybe have a conversion rate of one and 10. You can get the conversion rate far higher, which just makes everything a lot easier in the long run. Yeah, definitely. It, re it reduces uh, the, like it reduces errors, doesn't it? If you follow an ear template, because if you were going to write an email offer, let's say today in May, uh, where well, you're feeling good because the sun's starting to come out. Um, and if you didn't have a template, you wrote the same email in November when it's raining and it's a bit miserable. It's probably going to be worded slightly different, right? When you're feeling good or you're feeling okay or not so good, it does it does affect how you 
write emails, how you communicate with people. So having the templates, I think, is key. It, it reduces error and it gets it nice and uniformed and, and structured, doesn't it, for sure? Yeah, um, I think I, love- I think I think it's it's a lot what we get taught on the course is sort of being more structured and more organized and how to sort of arrange your time. So I know you are very into time blocking and organizing your, your diary. And that's something I've sort of implemented straight away. So I've taken that on board and then having all the templates and the structure of following through all the emails. So it's literally, it's almost like a cookie cutter, as they say, you're finding a strategy that you like doing. And for me, it's assisted sales. I'm needing profit at the moment. So it's more of a profit play rather than lease options with cash flow. Um, but it's something I can take and do on one project and literally take that and put it onto the next project. So it, it's it's been great fun. It's, there's a great crew of people also on the course and there's a wealth of knowledge, not only from you two, but I think there's about 30 people on the course and, and there's a wealth of knowledge in the room and the group chats as well. Good, good. No, I agree with that completely. And that, that's great to hear. Um, you've already had a decent sized win. Um, yes. since starting so do you want to tell us a little bit about the the deal that you've done uh, this for okay so the deal I've done is an assisted sale and for those that don't know um, assisted sale is basically you finding a vendor that's struggling to sell a property for whatever reason um, you then agree a purchase price with them you go in there refurb the property and then you sell it to either a first-time buyer or investor or an end user um, so I've uh, with the contacts that I know in the state agency, I've spoken to someone who was struggling to sell a property. They had a tenant that's in massive arrears and they're really struggling to evict the person. So I've gone there, I've met the tenant, I've understood her situation and I'll be helping her move into a new place. Um, headline figures for the deal, we have agreed a purchase price of 285,000. I've uh, got investor funds of about 45 grand that will be used for the refurb. And we've been putting it back on the market for about 435. So with an investment of about 45 grand, we're looking at about an 80 grand profit just on one deal. Nice, nice. That's not bad, is it? If, you know, if you if you bought that property traditionally, you've got stamp duty, you've got either cash 200 odd grand to put down or if you're bridging it or, or mortgaging it, you know, at least 50, 60 grand on top of that but it's only costing you the refurb isn't it legal fees yeah i guess th- that's the best bit of the course you, you're learning how to do risky investment i think if you're working with investors it's, it's all about risk and managing risk and by doing these sort of deals and understanding how to communicate with solicitors and to minimize risk it's it's the returns far exceed what you would do on sort of a straight purchase like you said you're not having to raise massive sums of money. You're not having to pay capital gains tax. The process is very quick and efficient. And it's a way that someone who doesn't have a hundred grand can get into property with a quick refurb of a 20 grand and sort of double their money. And by using that process of assisted sales, you can sort of, if you have a salary of 40 grand, just one deal can sort of be the whole salary of working for a whole year. So it's, I would guess it's probably the easiest way to get out of a full-time job and go straight into property is by doing a couple of assisted sales. Love it. Love it. I bet you wouldn't made a few more of them. <laughs> no, I guess I guess the, the best thing is it's solution-based. You are not going to find an agent and saying, well, listen, I'm looking for below market value deals. You're going to them and you're looking to provide a solution, a win-win for everyone. And this this vendor was struggling. He's had no rent for the last three years. He's struggling to make mortgage payments. And so you're offering him a solution. I'm going there. I'm paying off his mortgage and helping move the tenant on. And so he's winning on that sort of side. For the agent, he's getting a fee both when he sells a property to me and when he sells a property again. And obviously I'm winning because I don't need to put so much capital in and there's a good profit play on it. So it's a great scenario for all three parties that are involved. Love it, love it, and that's 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 one of the overarching sort of things about our, what we do, isn't it? It's got to be a win for everybody. Nobody should feel like they're losing or feel like they're getting done over in any way. It's got to be a win for everybody, and then that helps with referrals, relationship building, longevity. It helps with everything, doesn't it? And morally, it, it's yeah. the only way to to do it. Um, love that. Wasn't to see the um stuff on socials that you do about that and once it's done. I look forward to seeing congrats when you've had your, a nice bit of money put in your bank when you've sold it. That'll be uh, great to see. 
You deserve it, man. Um, has, it, has there been any mindset shifts that you've sort of experienced since starting the mastermind? I'd say the biggest mindset change is probably the confidence that you get. Um, it's a lot of knowledge um, that you can then communicate with agents. So in terms of being able to, to speak with them and how you communicate with them, it's massive. It's um, you can take these skills and you can implement it straight away. And the, the way that you offer on properties is changed completely. And I'd say last year, I probably offered on probably 10 to 15 properties throughout the course of the year. At the moment, I'm probably offering on between six to eight properties a week. And so in terms, you get a far bigger confidence on how to communicate. And in terms of productivity, I'm far more productive this year than I was last year. Good. Good. That's amazing that, I mean, can't work out how, how many times more uh, offers you put in uh, this year compared to last year, but I know it's a hell of a lot more. But but again, confidence comes with experience and knowledge and, and practice. Ultimately, taking action, it will come. And then once you get one result, like yeah. getting that assisted sale agreed, your confidence levels have probably skyrocketed, you know, and, and that happens when you get wins. Um, but that's amazing to hear, man. It, it's amazing to hear. If anybody is thinking about joining the mastermind or they've listened to some of these interviews, what would you what would you say to them? I would definitely recommend them to join. I mean, it's been a game changer for me this year. It's the whole focus on what I'm doing now has really sort of changed just within the last four or five months, rather than sort of doing traditional flips that are much more capital intensive. Um, doing assisted sales has just de-risked my whole business. So I would definitely recommend it to anyone. I would say it probably more for a slightly more experienced investor, someone that has done a deal or is in rent to rent or not sort of for a first time or a novice person. Um, the people that are in the group are a mixture of business owners, seasoned investors, solicitors, um, developers. And so it's a great sort of communicate uh, community, not only to have you and Mark sort of, giving advice and mentoring us but i've spoken to a lot of other people on the course and there's sort of a wealth of knowledge and opportunities to jv with other members in the group um mm -hmm. there's also two whatsapp groups so the first whatsapp group is sort of just general property chit chat where we can sort of get advice um both from either you mark or or people on the course um and then the second one is just deal focus so we all share the deals that we are doing I think that's great. It creates a little bit of competition within the group and gets people buzzing and going in the morning when you're seeing what other people are doing. And they yeah. also put their templates or their communication that they've had with the agents. And so you can learn from others in the group to see how they're doing. And I, I think I've really enjoyed it. I've met some great people in the group. And I think I'd recommend it to anyone out there that is looking to get into property or really sort of level up and go from one level to doing multiple deals within one year. Mm. love that oh, that's a, um really really kind words mate i appreciate that and it, you. it's you know me and mark as you know we, we don't particularly need the money it's not really about that it's just we both do really enjoy doing this and some of the feedback we've had similar to yourself is great and that that means more than anything really because again we had a little chat before we went live didn't we about the education space how it's littered with blaggers and bluffers uh, we we'll try to actually help people and make a difference and get some proper results so you guys you know previous members current members and future members can can have a good quality of life as well good balance plenty of spare time look after the health and the families and make some money and have a laugh and that's really yeah. what we're we're trying to do yeah, I think, I mean, even you, you've posted a couple of deals in the group, which has been probably someone's just made 10, 20, 30 grand just in a deal that you've posted and Mark's done a couple as well. Um, and I know Mark, for people that were struggling in the course or even when I was right at the beginning, he was happy to communicate with the agent. So getting the deals across the line. So it's not only about giving the knowledge, it's about giving the content and how to get those deals over. So if you're really struggling with something or the the vendor or the agent has posted a tricky question. You can just go on the group and one of you gives sort of advice and how, how to, we can progress the deals. So I think 
everyone has got that opportunity for six months to have you on board as a personal mentor to get those deals over the line. And it's it's a wonderful opportunity. And for the amount of money we are paying, it, one deal supersedes that money four or five times. It's it's a no-brainer. So, Yeah, no, I love it, man. No, thank you so much. And, you know, if anyone does want to reach out to you, James, or follow your journey, I know you're doing plenty of stuff and you share all that. You do some great social media posts. If anyone wants to reach out to you, follow your journey, look at the sort of strategies and things that you're doing, what would be the best way for them to, to reach out? Um, most of my communication is via Facebook. So I put what I sort of do on a daily basis or the deals that I'm going through. Or if they would like to communicate via LinkedIn, I can send you my details for that as well, Terry. Okay, great. And is it just James Fox on there? Is it James Fox property? What's the... What's it's, the sort? My middle name is Thomas. So it's just James Thomas Fox on, on both socials. Perfect. Give him a follow. Top guy. Um, look forward to seeing some more assistant sales coming through, my friend. Thank you so much and have a good rest of your day. Thank you very much, Terry. Have a good day too.